I think, you know, my devotion to photography comes from uh, a real passion for creating imagery and for, uh, you know, creating a document of our time. I started out as a newspaper photographer doing uh, photojournalism in California and um, I really started to understand the importance of the still image with regards to the ability to study uh, that sort of moment that wasn't uh, fluid, which is how we experience people and we experience life uh, fluidly. I think basically just because I like to communicate. I had an interest in World War II since I was a kid and it was very common when I was a kid to encounter World War II veterans and uh, I started to really have an appreciation for the for the sacrifice that they made and the devotion that they made and the sort of conviction uh, and I really started to love uh, mid-century, you know, uh, 20s, 30s, 40s uh, America. You know, my love for Americana, for want of a better word, would, uh, would stem from, you know, my experiences principally here in the States growing up, uh, kind of being intrigued by the history of the U.S. always and uh, the diversity that, uh, that we have in our country. The difference between the urban setting and the rural setting. I think, uh, you know, the work documents both. Trying to create a document of uh, something that is fleeting, you know, as we move more into the technological age, uh, those people and those settings are changing and uh, are disappearing. And uh, I really like the idea of kind of creating a solid document of, of that, uh, that period and that uh, subject matter. I think the idea of uh, really honing a sensibility rather than uh, focusing on a style. Uh, first of all, I think for me, it allows me to have a very diverse uh, subject matter that I'm able to interpret. Um, oftentimes, stylistic approaches tend to be more along the lines of uh, a technical pursuit, and um, they depend on certain circumstances in order to exist, uh, perhaps film, camera, lighting, setting. Uh, I think when I decided that at one point I, I you know, I, I decided I wanted to focus on portraiture principally, early on it started to feel really limited to me and limiting. And uh, what I tried to do early on is to develop an internal dialogue so that I could uh, start to be mindful of what I was reacting to and try to incorporate the, the way I was reacting to things into the work and uh, over time really focus on trying to increase the diversity of the subject matter that I would work with. People aren't going to remember the things you do. They're going to remember how you made people feel. And uh, I've always tried to really adhere to that and try to be, you know, kind and gracious and appreciative. Uh, I think if I stopped taking pictures right now, it would take me the rest of my life to put together and uh, put, them, put the images that I've already made out there. I still actively shoot quite a lot for myself and I've shot, you know, thousands of rolls of film of personal work. and. You know, I've exhibited that work and, you know, I'd like to do a lot more with that. Uh, I've been doing a project on honeybees that, uh, that I'm very proud of and that I'd like to continue. Um, and basically just, you know, image making in general is, uh, is such, a, uh, such a part of my life. And, you know, I think uh, it's definitely going to be my life's work. Even long after I retire, I'll still be, I'll still be dabbling in photography.